So Christy yes. Flaherty is a chef. You are a holistic nutritionist, correct? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, tell us a little bit about yourself because I was, this was very interesting to me to hear how you've gotten to where you are. Okay. Yeah. I was a private chef for about 20 years. And over the course of that time, I just kind of, through evolution of my business, ended up cooking for a lot of people that were um, either sadly terminally or chronically ill. And um, so through that, I've learned a lot about nutrition, how it really impacts your body, how it impacts your health. I had done, you know, holistic things forever. I've used essential oils, done all that. Um, but in this process of actually working with these people, I really got interested in it because I began to see how it could really help. And um, I always thought about going to nutrition school, but that really kind of spurred it on because I realized I had all these cooking chops, but I really wanted to know the why behind why it worked. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so I went to school, did the whole nutrition thing. I got, um, took all the testing for board certification. But in that process, I had done, I don't know if you guys have heard of a Whole30, but I'd done Whole30, mm -hmm. um, okay. knew that it was really you know, helpful for a lot of things. It's not really a diet, it's really more about helping your health in general and getting rid of inflammation. Um, and everything I learned in nutrition school lined up with that. So as soon as I got my board certification, I began looking into becoming a Whole30 certified coach and realized it completely aligned with what I was doing anyway, but it just gave me kind of a philosophy and a platform to work from. And so I also got certified as a Whole30 coach. And um, so that's kind of where I am now. I've got all these different parts and pieces. And what I do is I work primarily with um, Gen X women, women queen, but really between like 40 and 55. Um, mm -hmm that are just dealing with that whole midlife middle thing, lack of energy. They're kind of getting to that place of, you know, kids are leaving, but they're trying to figure out what to do with their lives now. And um, so it's really about getting healthy so you can feel good about going into the next phase of life. Because we all know mm -hmm. that ideally we're living longer now. And um, so, but we're also having to take care of children and parents. So it's really about getting women healthy so they can do all the stuff they want to do and all the stuff they need to do. Um, and then I use all of my nutrition, Whole30, um, just generally using food as medicine, kind of. Um, but when I'm working with women, the part that comes in from my culinary background is I'm able to really help women learn how to cook in a proficient, mm -hmm. uh, not proficient, efficient way, um, so that they can really enjoy what they're making and not just get bored. Because I think food boredom is one of the things that pretty much knocks people out, especially when they're yeah. trying to really be healthy. And so I even do um, live cooking classes with my, with my students. So if they want to learn how to cook something, we'll just get right on, on one of our sessions and I'll cook right along with them. So um, it's kind of become a unique thing for me to do um, those things together. So anyway, that's kind of a really short version of it. Well, and what I was most impressed was, uh, with was when I went to uh, Sonia Baumhoff's retreat and you were there as the chef, I told you at the end, I said, I have never had that many consecutive meals that all tasted so good, but also made me feel good because yeah. there's such a huge difference in eating food that tastes good, but also makes you feel good. Right. And I have had a very strict diet through the years. I've done whole 30 many times. Um, mm -hmm. If you had us eating a whole 30, I didn't even notice because it was yeah. so good. It was just I, the mango salsa. Oh my gosh. That was to die for. Um, I have been very, very clean in my diet. So I know when I get anything that is off, um, even right. if it's a seasoning or, um, I mean, they hide stuff in the seasonings. They hide right. stuff in the types of uh, oil that they use. If they're using, right. I mean, I could go to a restaurant and order um, some, you know, pan seared, uh, vegetables, cut vegetables. But if they're just doing it in canola oil, it's, I'm going to feel disgusting. Or if they're right. doing it in a really cheap butter, then I'm going to yeah. feel disgusting. And then yeah. on top of that, you throw in, you think you're doing good. You're like, Oh, I'm doing great. I'm ordering, you know, my fajitas. I'm not eating the beans. I'm not eating the rice. Right. I'm just eating the meat and the peppers and the onions and then the vegetables. And then it, you just feel so heavy and I actually get yeah. restless leg. Uh, who knew they'd marinate right. in soy sauce. Most exactly. restaurants. Most soy for sure. Yeah. 
you know, or soybean oil for that matter. So yes, yeah. you just feel terrible. <clears throat> okay, yeah. so you um, and then you've been a private chef for 20 years, and you yeah. did, did you did this in California, right? Yeah, we lived out in Napa Valley for a while, and I worked um, with a lot of like the winemakers and stuff. And we did I would do wine dinners, and I cooked for a lot of their families. And um, so yeah, it was really super fun. We That's just awesome. took a dive and went out there. Yeah. Did you ever see any celebrity? Do you have um, celebrities? Celebrity chefs. I mean, like we literally lived down the street from like a, a chef that used to be on Food Network all the time, Michael Chiarello, and he would, you know, drive by and he would do the finger wave from his truck. And so it was, yeah, it was really cool. And um, my husband worked in winery, so he saw a lot more celebrities than I did. So mine were like celebrity chefs and people in the food industry. So, um, so that was really, that was really cool. And I actually learned a ton there. That's actually where a lot of my food philosophy came from because I would get a, a veggie box every week from a farm. And at the time we, I mean, literally that's what we lived on because we moved out there without anything. We didn't have a job, didn't have a house. We just wanted to live in Napa Valley. And um, so we literally lost every penny we had, but I would get this food, um, this veggie box delivered because I was a host, it was free. And so I had to learn how to use all of those vegetables to feed my family. And it was super cool because, I mean, I saw things I'd never even knew existed. And so I got on Google and learned how to use them all. But I learned how delicious vegetables really could be. And that's really become a big thing with me. Like when I'm working with clients, you know, I'm always saying, eat half a plate of vegetables at every meal and you're going to feel amazing. That's part yeah. of that retreat that you came to. I mean, every single meal, I don't know if probably nobody even thought about it because they weren't having to cook it, but every meal had at least half a plate of vegetables incorporated somehow. And, mm -hmm. um, and that's the whole thing is like really getting that real food in you, real, you know, fruits, vegetables, healthy proteins and healthy fats. That's really my, my basis for my diet and all of my clients. And the reason for that is you're getting all of the nutrients that your body needs and none of the junk. And, um, and so, yeah, working in Napa Valley was a huge um, pivot for me because it really showed me what is possible with real food because that's all I had to work from. So, anyway, and, they, that was cool. and you have a lot of competition out there. You have to have your food has to be really good and very fresh because when we went to Napa Valley, I mean, every single place that we stopped at, it was absolutely amazing, yeah. amazing food. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I, one of the things that I was really excited about when I saw your new program that you have uh -huh. is that it, it was, it, I looked at the ingredients and I actually didn't even see that you were whole 30 based. Um, but I looked at the ingredients and I was like, wow, I mean, all these ingredients are good. I can eat these. I can, I can do that. I can do that. I have many whole 30 books. Uh -huh. but there's only a few recipes that actually taste good. Yeah. It, it yeah. just doesn't taste great. And you know how to pair things properly. So let's talk about what you have here. You have a, a, a real food reset, right? And, okay. So tell us what this is. Okay. It's really just kind of a way to, um, just kind of tiptoe into really clean eating and just give yourself five days. That's my whole basis. You know, I talk to everybody and say, if you'll just give yourself five days mm -hmm. to see what it feels like to actually feed your body well. Um, and everybody that's gone through it so far has commented on how by the end of the week, they just felt great. And because it's all planned out, it's not like you're having to go through this whole process of like, finding your meal plans, putting them together, getting the shopping mm -hmm. list, you know, this is completely planned out. So it's the meal plan, it's a shopping list, and it's there is even wow. a prep guide for each day. So you can just follow this and do exactly as it is. And you will have your lunches, dinners, and breakfast ready every day. And even like, you'll know the night before what you need to set out or how to prep the next morning yeah. if you're going off to work. So it's all put together for you. And the reason for that is I want this to be an easy thing for you. I want you to be able to, in five days to really feel what your body can feel like when you're eating clean. And then of course, you know, five days is not going to completely reverse everything you put in your body, especially if you, right. you're coming from a diet of just eating a lot of fast food. I mean, all of us are going a thousand miles an hour. And so it's really easy to fall into that trap of just eating fast food or eating processed food because it's ready to go. Even frozen meals, even the healthiest frozen meals still have a lot of crap in them. And yeah. um, so this is just a really easy way to pull it all back to the basics and just eat, like I said, fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, and protein. Um, and, you're, and you don't even have to think about it. 
And then at the end of that five days, then it's possible you may realize, hey, you know what, I really want to do this longer. And then that may be a time to look at something like Whole30. And, you know, if you want somebody to walk through it with you, then that's what I do is I walk through it with people who want to go through the Whole30 process. Um, but it may just be like, I, I have a friend, she's actually out in Napa Valley, and um, she does this reset like about every two to three months because she said, I just feel great. Once I started doing this, I got my weight where I wanted to be. I don't have to worry about it anymore. And she loves pizza. There's a great pizza place in the town we used to live in. She loves pizza. She loves coffee. And she loves sweets. So this is kind of her way to yeah. rein it back in every couple of months and be able to live her life the way she wants to. So that may be another thing that you can use this for. It's just simply a way to have a reset. And that's why <clears throat> it actually will cause your body to, in a very gentle way, detox. But detox is an ugly word. I don't even like using it because it just feels like you're going to feel crappy. But with this, you're not. It actually is going to help you feel good because you're not cutting out anything. Um, you're just basically eating clean food and there's no restriction on how much you can eat. I mean, all the meal plans are basically made for two people and then there's leftovers so you can use them for other meals. And that's kind of how I plan it. So there's no waste. Um, but there's no restriction on it. My, I mean, like if you want to eat more and you, you know, find something else yeah. for lunch the next day, it's totally fine. And because that's the deal is I don't like being restricted. And that right. was one of the things I loved about even with Whole30 is that there was no restrictions on how much. So, yeah. or there was no restrictions like on, like I used to hate eating salads because you could only have like a tiny drizzle of olive oil. I douse everything I eat in butter, olive oil, avocado oil, avocados, you know, I eat tons Love of that now. Yeah, and, um, and that's really where this done is. I mean, this uh, reset is, is you'll see that there's, I mean, there's fats in every meal, but it's because that's what keeps you full and that's what feeds your brain and your heart. Fat is not a bad thing. And that's why I've incorporated it heavily in this reset. And that's what's gonna make you feel like you're not dieting. You're gonna feel good, but you're, and your body's gonna feel good. And you may even lose a pound or two by the end of the week, but it's not gonna be because you're depriving yourself. So that's kind of where this whole thing is. That's why I called it a reset because even though your body is going to feel better and you probably will gently detox, it's not going to feel like you're doing that. So, yeah. And I think, um, I think that with this meal plan looking over it, so just to give an idea, you have uh, for breakfast, cauliflower rice breakfast hash. There's egg on it. There's seasoning. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. If y'all have never had cauliflower hash, it's actually really, really good. Yeah. Um, for lunch is tuna salad plate. That one of my one of my favorite types of lunches. Dinner slow cooked chicken soup, sweet Dijon garden salad, and cashews and clementines for a snack. Now, then you look at the next day and it's a different breakfast. Well, somebody's saying, okay, I don't want to do two different meal plans. If you wanted to make a big container of cauliflower hash then you could eat that for two days. Just follow your follow the meal plan for two or three days in a row, right? Right. Yeah, and yeah. You so can you totally can mix and match day. however you want yes. to on this, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So so in five days, somebody says, well, you know, I, I don't want to do all this work for just five days. Okay. Christy is trying to show you that you can do this in as small as five days. Heck, if you just did it one day, you would feel great. But five days is a wonderful time because it gives your body a rest. If you don't think that five days is good for your body, go on vacation for five days and see how amazing you feel when you come back. Five days is a wonderful time to give your body a vacation from some of these uh, foods that we're so used to eating. And a lot of us are not eating enough anyway. And then when we do eat, then it's not something that really nutritionally feel, fills our needs. So if you could do this for a minimal five days, or you could even double it up and do it 10 days. Yeah. Because yeah, you could do sure. the meal and double. Yeah. Yeah. You could definitely do that. And like, if, if there is a breakfast on there or lunch or whatever you don't like, then you can certainly switch them out. I mean, obviously you'd have to change your shopping list and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, yeah. these are just kind of a baseline. It really is just a kind of a plug and play kind of, reset so you don't have to think about it but if yeah if you look at it and go i there's no way i'm gonna eat that then sure you can switch out any of the breakfast and then just make more of it to get mm -hmm. you through the week so yeah, yeah not a problem okay yeah and, and i love that you go ahead oh, i was just gonna say you know each day um once you sign up for this this is definitely made in a way that it's kind of self-directed 
So you don't have to start it the second you get it. You can actually put it, like if you have a big birthday party coming up this weekend, you want to start next week. I have designed it to where you can do this whenever the five days is convenient for you. But in the first five days, you're going to get a series of emails that are going to kind of give you a lot of, um, you know, reasoning behind all this. They're encouraging. They'll help you want to continue through it. I'll even give you some tips on how to, you know, carry this on so that you can really enjoy the holidays. Kind of like my friend, enjoy what you love to eat, but reset and know how to do it. And um, so the emails, if you'll save them once you get them, it'll help you walk through. Plus, you'll have my email address. You can always email me and ask me questions about it. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to show everybody, you have your, the grocery list and the mm -hmm. grocery list is going to be very specific. Four cups of arugula, eight cups of broccoli, two carrots. You kind of just eyeball it at the grocery store. You can say eight, eight cups of, of broccoli. That's probably two mm -hmm. heads of broccoli. Yeah. Right. Right. Easy. Or, yeah. you know, the, the bundles, two big bundles. Yeah. And, um, I just, I mean, you can't deny how amazing that is. That's the, the breakfast hash. So how much does this cost? That is a very good question. But what I will say is from having lived like this for a long time, when you're buying just fruits, vegetables, and meat, it mm -hmm. is actually cheaper than buying all the processed foods. Really? So, okay. yeah. <clears throat> so even if you're buying organic, I mean, now organic, especially these vegetables are pretty, pretty straightforward. These vegetables are not expensive. And that's the whole point of the grocery list. It's very concise in that um, everything is used more than once. So um, mm -hmm. when you go to the store, if you buy everything for this, then, and it's only for two people. So if you do have more than um, two people in your household yeah. and you're gonna use this, you obviously need to bump that up. But, um, but yeah, I've never actually priced it out. So I have no idea, but I do know that just buying fruits, vegetables, and protein is definitely cheaper than buying all the other stuff. So, well, what I mean is how much is it for someone to invest in your program though? You're oh, I'm sorry. this is free. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. How, um, how much is free? Yeah, this is free. I'm actually giving away my real food reset right now. Why? So, yeah. Just because I want to, I feel like that this is a great way for people to, tiptoe into what is really out there as far as health because i really truly do believe that food is medicine and i want to get the word out to as many people as possible so yeah it's free right now and um, normally when i've done this in the past it's it's been you know around a hundred dollars so but right now i'm just giving away because i really want people to be able to have that access to it and find out you know what it feels like to eat clean so yeah. Okay. I can, I can already tell you well, for, that's amazing. Um, I can already tell you that just that I was looking over through this yesterday and I, I told Trey, I, these recipes are making my mouth water. I can look through all my cookbooks. Sorry. Yeah. I, I can look through all my cookbooks and I can tell, Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's not, Oh, that one doesn't even have a picture. That one does not. <laughs> right. good. Skip that. But you can tell what's going to be, I mean, you know, kids like curry this or, Indian this and I, I don't know I'm not trying to be rude I just don't like some of those foods yeah. and they incorporate them a lot and it's like in the middle of the cookbook and yeah. it doesn't even um sorry a little fly it doesn't even look like they had a chef make that one up somebody just redid one on Pinterest or something but these look amazing I can tell that I'm already gonna like them what is the next step what is the next step after this Okay, so after that, um, like I said, you'll be getting emails every day. But if it's something where you feel like you really, really love how you're feeling, but you also feel like, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. There's no way I can move forward. That's where I can come in as your coach. Because what I do is for my, because I'm a nutritionist, I'm able to give you um, recipes, meal plans. My website is full of recipes. All pretty much everything on my website. It's healthyhappyreal.com. Every single recipe is gluten-free. Many of them are Whole30. And I think almost all of them are paleo as well. So, um, so yeah, I've got a ton of resources there. Um, and also when you get your Real Food Reset, the very first email you get will point you to my website and the blog and all that kind of stuff. So, but I also do provide coaching. And what I do with that is, you know, the first step is really just to apply for a free consultation. 
and um, and that will be in your first email as well. So, but what I do is I walk through with my clients and we do a program together to where we really pinpoint what works for your body and what doesn't, because that's what I found is a true secret is, you know, cutting out the junk is great, but really finding out what is causing your inflammation is where it really comes down to helping women, especially women that are kind of entering that midlife, menopause, mm -hmm. premenopause, all that. Because it's suddenly like you could have your entire life been in shape. And then suddenly it's like you cannot lose weight no matter what you do. And so that's where my program comes in, is that we work together and pinpoint what's working for your body, what's not, how to get you on a path that is a healthy lifestyle. We work on sleep, we work on uh, workouts, all of those many facets. And that's because, like I said, I'm a holistic nutritionist. So I'm not going to just give you a meal plan and say, see you later. Yeah. We're going to work on all those steps. And, um, and again, because I'm a nutritionist, I can also help you even with supplementation. If you feel like, you know, I don't know what's happening here. You know, we can work on all those pieces, but that's really the big broad step is if you get to the end of this five days, you're like, I really love this. I love how I feel, mm -hmm. but there's just, there's so much more then I can help you on the rest of your pathway. So, but this is really, <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry. I, I had no idea that you were coaching as well. Um, yeah. I, I have had a, a business coach for the past, mm -hmm. um, probably eight or nine months. It took us a long time to get going. And then yeah. it's been, now we've, we've been, doing good and we're knocking stuff out and I'm getting stuff out and she's challenging me a ton. And then I have another friend that came to me who is an Ayurvedic medicine and uh, does an Ayurvedic philosophy for coaching. And she said, I need to finish my certification. Can I practice coaching on you? And I was like, yes. Okay. Well, yeah. that is a completely <clears throat> different approach to coaching than the business coaching. So there are two right. They're both valuable, but they're both very different. Yeah. And I have to say, I have never been so pleased in my life to, I feel like I have people in my corner and on my, yeah. side, on my side helping me. So if, if someone on here is interested in coaching, I highly recommend that you go through Christy because there are a lot of health coaches out there but not all of them are chefs. <laughs> not all of them have the, uh, the extensive background that she has and experience. So it's not just about the schooling, it's the experience, but the value that it brings to you, someone to sit with you and say, okay, what can we work on this week? How, what were your wins last week? What let's, let's tweak that up. Why do you think that you binged on Saturday night. What emo what happened before then? What emotions were going on? Let's work through some of these things. Because yeah. the reality is if we're binging on something, then something happened right beforehand. There was an emotion. Yeah. How can we deal with these emotions and deal with these um with these uh, having the right things to nourish our bodies in the time. So it's all together. It all encompasses each other. And right. the best thing that you could ever do for care for your own body is to get a coach. If this is something you really want to do and nobody at your house is willing to help, your mom is not going to help you. Your sister is no help. Your husband could care less. Your best friend, not interested in eating healthy. You need someone in your corner. And the best thing that you could ever do is invest in yourself and get someone like Christy to help you along the way. So thanks. That's yeah. Great. It's been interesting working with my clients because I mean, every one of them came to me to lose weight and mm -hmm. all of them have lost weight. But in the end, when we're finishing up our program together, it's amazing to hear the stories of what really has happened. You know, from one of my clients, had, you know, she came to me with horrible body issues because she'd been in the bodybuilding world. And mm -hmm. when she left, she was like, I can finally go on my honeymoon and not feel like I look fat. She was skinny. But because of the bodybuilding world, she had this terrible body image. But just working together, mm -hmm. we got through that. Another girl who hated cooking, she loves it. She's like telling all the world about how great cooking is now. And it's so all of these things that are beyond losing weight. Um, because really, that's just a number on the scale. But we work together for so many other reasons that it's really been awesome to hear 
people's stories at the end. So I love it. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Christy. And tell us your yeah. website again. Okay. It's healthyhappyreal.com. And you can hop over there and there's um, right at the very top, you'll see where you can sign up for the Real Food Reset. It's right at the top. I can also send um, in the comments, I can put in a uh, link that goes directly to a landing page. But if you go to my website, you can also check out the blog and all the coaching information as well. So I'll put both of those in the comments okay. if you want me to. Yeah. And now, now when you get, when they download this, uh -huh. it's going to be a four page document, right? A four page yeah. document. And yep. then on, or four or five pages. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. But on the fourth page, you're going to see download, and that is a link. And that yeah. is going to go to the actual the plan. That's going to go to the actual reset. Right. Yeah. So in the book, yeah, yeah thanks for clarifying that. Yeah, in the book, there is two separate documents, but the, the, plan was like multiple pages. So I want to make sure you had that separate. Um, yeah, yeah. But once you get the, when you get the real food reset, just go to that, click on it and it'll tell you where to go. There's also in your first email, there's a link to the plan as well. So I've kind of tried to cover all the bases, make sure you know where it is. So. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put, um, do a hole punch in this and then I'm going to start a binder yeah. with, with your stuff and put that in there and through time as we you know if you have a cookbook that you're selling an ebook i would love to print it out because like i said i, I can tell i look at that one pan chicken that's amazing that is the prep work is is thawing out your chicken and mentally right. knowing okay apple cider vinegar and dijon mustard and you're going to put that out and if you had to if you had to use uh Frozen broccoli, you can use frozen broccoli. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's fast. It's fast. Yeah. It's fast. That, that's fast what this is made for. So, made it to be as easy as possible to get your body okay, good. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Christy. Yeah. Thank you for being <laughs> perseverant on this whole thing. So, <laughs> I, I appreciate you know it. What? It pays off, and I knew it would, uh, we'd figure it out. All yeah. right. Talk to you later. Okay. okay bye bye. bye.